The Frederick Law Olmsted worked with the Chicago Chamber of Commerce and reshaped what Chicago became. What this community has done for itself and what you've challenged yourself to do is in the spirit of Olmsted. You're making big dreams. You're reconstituting yourself. You're taking the river that was your beginning and is now going to be part of your rebirth. I congratulate you on everything that you're doing. But I also want to challenge you. The challenge is to go from making a dream, living your dream, to creating a legacy. What you have to do is take that dream and turn it into a vision. Springfield is in the middle of a rebirth. The, the gift from prior generations gave income, security, opportunity for people for a 70 year period. And now it's time to take the strengths that came from before, add things that are new, and bring forward a new economy. Because you have to be relying on yourself. The state can only aid, the federal government can only aid, or possibly get in the way. But at the end of the day, it's up to you. You are an economy. What you have to do is change those policies and attitudes that can be changed. Because what we've learned in community after community we've worked in is that if you hold on to old attitudes, they become a gateway that prevents the future. What you really want to do is take your heritage, your legacy, be proud of it, be what you are, but use that, those, that, use that as a gateway for the future rather than something that prevents you from getting You have begun to change this place in a fundamental, progressive way, and I can see the seeds of the future as I drove through downtown, as I drove through your industrial parks, as I drove and saw the ways that you're rebuilding and using your, your legacy and your heritage to bring forward a new future. I congratulate you, but you have to continue to invest. You need a strategic vision so that you have a legacy of change. In a common world, we can be uncommon. You can almost call many of the initiatives happening today a miracle. Our vision of a greater community is being realized with the construction of a $250 million downtown hospital, a $15 million surgical hospital, two industrial parks and a high-tech park, a $3 million downtown connector park, a $6 million creative arts and convention center, a $6 million ice arena, and a new six and a half mile whitewater experience on Buck Creek that runs through downtown. We're also seeking to develop a retail, professional office, restaurant, and entertainment district in the core of our downtown. The community will also be visioning for the future as we work together on the new strategic vision plan for Greater Springfield moving forward, a vision of a more vibrant community. We must all come together, one team, putting our differences aside and work to accomplish the impossible. That is the dream. The miracle. A faceless hockey team was put together to accomplish a seemingly impossible goal. But Coach Herb Brooks set out to achieve the unachievable, to take the common and make it uncommon. In the process, the nation was united with a new feeling of hope. In the USA, we have a unique opportunity to come together, one team, and unite for such a time as this, and accomplish some incredible things for Greater Springfield.